colours that are here in the Hunter Valley, the changing colours of the landscape. It changes with drought, changes with rainfall. I think it's really special to be able to experience that. It was one of the original founding vineyards in the Picolban wine region. The vineyards and winery and homestead, which was once here, was built in 1865. With the existing homestead still here in present, albeit in a ruined state, that with the vats and uh, the well that's on site are uh, significant heritage. I think the journey of people when they visit this place, by the time that they drive up over the top of the hill, park their car, hop out of the car, the way that they then move through before they get to that house platform, there's that experience of actually slowing down before they arrive at the place. That was something that was important to us. So they could stop to pause, to be able to take in the views, to be able to, to connect with the place at a slower pace. I think that's really important. So it's a sequence of events and I think that heightens the experience of being here. It's a home away from home. It's a space where they could come and not only connect with nature, but reconnect with themselves, with their family, with their friends. Um, the clients are very generous and are very open to sharing this with all of their loved ones. So I think that's what they were wanting, a space that they could really do that with. We talked about the idea of what they wanted to build here, a timeless aesthetic, something that really uh, that could sit within the landscape beautifully and just create a connection with where it is. We talked a little bit about their desire or their aspiration for it to be architecturally beautiful, it being a reflection of the principles of mid-century modernism and in particular Mises Farnsworth House. That was a specific reference and I think that is because of the way that the Farnsworth House actually sits in that landscape. It is beautiful the way it actually sits too. These two horizontal planes, glass in between, that connection is just so seamless as you, as you, as you see it and it's just, it's just beautiful. And I think that idea of it being sub, subservient within the landscape was really important. I feel like this house has been an incision into what has been sitting here for a very long period of time. It's intentionally off the top of the hill, so it actually feels like it's sitting within the landscape opposed to on top of the landscape. Although you are on one single platform, the form of the house actually steps down with that natural topography of the, of the hill. You know, the way the architecture sits within the landscape, it's its own form, its own presence, but it still connects so beautifully. And so when it came to designing the interiors and making decisions, we really followed through with that idea. We didn't want the eye to not know where to look. And so we didn't want it to be anything that was loud. We really focused heavily on the, on the detail and the tactility, the textures of the interiors. It was really about touch. It was, you know, you can't walk past the kitchen bench without wanting to run your hands across it. It's really about feeling. There is so much that goes into a well-resolved interior. The material selections, the way they connect with one another. And it's not just aesthetically, it's functionally. Really considering 
How does the client move within this space? How do they function? Because everybody's different. So it's really based on the client. The house, the spaces and the interiors really need to be extension of who they are um, and how they work within a space. It was actually the first project where we had worked with an interior designer from the very outset. It allows the project to be able to evolve where the interiors and architecture are married together. And I, I feel like it does blur the lines between inside and out. And we, that's the whole idea of actually encouraging the outside in. And I think the way the external finishes then run internally, I think that's really successful in this project. So I'm very proud of that. When I look back on this project, I feel really proud to be able to say that we, we did it.